Thank God for mama. There's nobody else like mama. I thank God for mama. Yes, Deacon Franklin, my mama is still living, and I thank God every day for my mama. My mama has an incurable disease, and they thought she shouldn't, that she wouldn't live this long. It's been 20 years since diagnosed. I thank God for my mama. Thank God for mama 
I will see her in heaven some sweet day. And I thank God, I thank God for my mama. Thank you, brother. Thank you, G. Thank you, G. Brothers and sisters, would you all stand with me as we share in our scripture reading this morning? See, that's a powerful prayer. Be careful if you pray it. Because if you ask God to use you, make yourself available to him, he'll use you. Our scripture reading today is coming from the book of Matthew, the gospel according to Matthew, the 28th chapter. Verses 16 through 20. 16 says, Then the eleven disciples left for Galilee. This was after a lot of other discussion. Jesus had rose from the dead, and they were kind of a little worried. And so they left for Galilee, going to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, when they saw him, they worshipped him. But some of them doubted. Jesus came and told his disciples, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you. And be sure of this. I am. Anybody know about the I am? I am with you always, even to the end of age. The grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of our God shall stand forever. On this morning, we want to talk from the subject the name, the name, the name. You may be seated. You may be seated. The name. My brothers and sisters, you all know we started this series on last Sunday. Series entitled The Mission. The Mission. And last Sunday we tried to make plain, Brother Norwood, that we have been charged and we have been uh, 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 instructed to go. And your goal does not, is not determined by your, uh, 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 the place that you are, meaning you don't have to go overseas. You don't have to go on a mission trip to go. Your goal is right where you are. Are y'all going to pray with me today? Your goal is right where you are. And a lot of times your goal is in your home. Your goal is in your family. Your goal is on your job. Your goal is in the community. Your goal is wherever you are. And Jesus said, I don't want you just to go, but I want you to go and make disciples. Meaning, I want you to go and teach them to know me. Not so much to know you, but to know me. To know the me in you. To know what I have done for you. How I have brought you out. What I have delivered you from. That's what you are to do. You are to help them to know the power and the authority that I have. As a matter of fact, since I was raised by the dead, because I told you all before, that if I am lifted up from the earth, that I will draw all men unto me. Amen. Not that if my name is praised, not if that somebody shouts hallelujah every time they hear the name of Jesus, but if my father raised me up from the dead, can I get a witness in the room today? If he raised me up from the dead on that third day, then I will draw. Why will I draw? Because men are afraid of death and the grave. 
That's why, that's why, that's why one of my main intents, my main mission was to let you all know that death nor the grave had victory over me. So now I am giving you the same authority to go and make disciples. Make disciples. But now, our discussion today is, are we going to make disciples, he said, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Can I get a witness? Amen. He said, I want you all to go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now, he said for us to go. He said for us to make disciples. He has given us the authority. Now, uh, 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 Deacon Finney, here is where one of the uh, issues come up in most of the churches, in some of the churches in a way, that his command for us is to baptize them. To baptize them. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. To baptize means to immerse, to, to put somebody under, to, to submerge them. So, in other words, now this is just my spiritual imagination and my spiritual intellect and my knowledge and my understanding. When he says to baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, that means when I am going to make disciples, when I am trying to witness to them, again, it ain't about me, it's in his name. It's in his name, his authority, and his power. It's in the name of the God, the Father, and the Holy Spirit. Let me make this very clear. You cannot separate the three. They are three in one and one in three. Can I get a witness in the room today? He did not say to sprinkle them or to pour over them. He said to immerse them, to baptize them. Please remember that when water baptism is symbolic to the death and the resurrection. Can I get a witness here? When you, we take you down in the water, we are taking you down in a watery grave. And when we bring you up, you have been resurrected to a new life. Are y'all still with me today? So, 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 he said, but I uh, want to make clear that the true baptism is not in the water. It's when the spirit of the living God enters into your heart. The real baptism, the real immersion, the real submersion of the Holy Spirit in your heart is the true baptism. So in our making of disciples, we must submerge them. We must immerse them. We must make sure that they know that there's something about that great name. There's something about that name. There is something. Uh, Jesus has been given a name that is above every name. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, Chris, I read in my Bible, there is no other name that has been given unto man by which they shall be saved. No other name. I know, I know. And you know what? I love all of y'all. I love y'all. Y'all call me pastor. Y'all treat me as, as, as I'm your pastor. I thank God for each one of you. But I can't save you in my name. Somebody ain't with me yet. It ain't about my name. I can't preach in my name. I can't pray in my name. That's why when I pray, when I preach, I do it in the mighty and blessed and powerful and magnificent name of Jesus Christ. It's the name. And to baptize them in the name, me into the name, means to bring alliance and to declare that they are now a part or associated with power and the authority of Jesus Christ. Can I get a witness here? See, 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 let me make this plain here. Uh, when we baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, it's not just getting them wet, but it's getting the, giving them power and authority over the works of Satan, over the tricks and the trials of this world. How many of you will testify today that you can't make it in this world without Jesus Christ? We need to let them know. Because Satan is not scared of any of us. Amen? But at the name of Jesus, demons tremble. Can I get a witness here? At the name of Jesus, evil has to flee. At the name of Jesus, light is brought into darkness. Are y'all still with me here today? Therefore, 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 he told us, he said, look, look, baptize them 
in the threefold reference of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This shows the unity of the Godhead, of the Trinity, because we know God is spirit, amen? But God the Father is our creator, amen? He, cre he, see, he looked out, him and, and the Spirit was hovering over the water, and they looked out, and he said, let there be, and it was. He created everything. The son was right there with him. Can I get a witness in the room? But, but because of our unfaithfulness, Adam, and the rest that followed, Jesus had to come. Jesus is the manifestation of God incarnate in, in fleshly body. He is the very word of God. He is God. Therefore, he came. He came so that we could actually have a visual sighting of God. As, and see, you know, Steve, this is what really gives people or trips uh, different denominations of, because some say all you have to do is be baptized in the name of Jesus. And some say, no, you got to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let me make it very plain. What they are arguing and debating about is not worth it. Can I get a witness here? Because the name of Jesus encompasses the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. When they baptize only in the name of Jesus, they're still baptizing in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I know I'm right about it. I know I'm right about it. Because, see, I looked over in Acts chapter 2 at the beginning of the formation of the church. And Peter replied, he said, each of you must repent of your sin and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sin. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. In other words, can I, I wish y'all would really pray with me here. In other words, because some denominations have taken this verse and created their own routine or ritual of baptism. Well, thank God for them. They can keep on baptizing in the name of Jesus Christ. It is not omitting the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Are y'all with me here today? See, 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 we have to be careful of the things we go to debating about and we get all twisted out of shape about because they don't do it like we do it. There's so much power in the name of Jesus. There is so much power in the name of Jesus. And let me make this real plain to y'all today. There is no separating Jesus from the Trinity. They are three in one and one in three. As a matter of fact, John put it like this in his gospel. And Jesus, look, 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 look. He was talking to the Father. He said, he said and all mine are yours. And yours are mine. And I am glorified in them. Now I am no longer in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to you, Holy Father. Keep them, keep through your name those whom you have given me, and they may be one as we are one. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in your name. Those whom you gave me, I kept, and none of them, none of them is lost except the son of perdition, that the scriptures might be fulfilled. Jesus said, ain't no separating us. Every one of mine belongs to you. Can I get a witness here? Some want to separate the father and the son and say, I belong to Jesus. Jesus said, no, all of mine is yours because you and me are one. And as you and me are one, all of mine are, are, are one with me. Therefore, we one big happy family. Can I get a witness here? My brothers and sisters, if we're going to truly make disciples by proclaiming the truth about Jesus Christ, then the hearers, we need to evangelize them in such a way and enlist them in this Jesus army and let them know that they have to be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But most of all, they have to know Jesus Christ. To be a disciple means to be a follower of Christ, to be a knower of Christ, to be a lover of Christ, to be associated with Christ, to be a, 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 a joint heir with Christ. To be, come on, help me somebody. The God whom we serve is one God. 
in three persons. That's why when we make disciples, that's why Jesus said, look, y'all need to go and make disciples. Did y'all see in this Great Commission the three uh, 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 parts? The, the main uh, instruction was to make disciples, and you make disciples by going, baptizing, and teaching. Next week, we're going to talk about how we teach them to obey. But today is about that name, that great name. See, 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 we must be very clear about the name of Jesus and all that it suggests that Jesus, that, that, that as a Christ follower, there will be some ups and some downs, some ins and some outs. Some people going to talk about you because they talked about Jesus Christ. They persecuted him. They crucified him. They spit on him. They threw rocks at him. They knocked him down. They accused him. They lied. On, oh, y'all ought to help me today. They lied on him. But when we make disciples, there comes a change in our lives that we are able now to handle whatever the world throws at us because our identity is in Jesus. Anybody's identity in Jesus today? Come on, somebody. I mean, I mean, I, mean, I used to be known as this, that, and the other. And y'all call me this. But I want my identity, I want, I want to be known as a disciple of Christ. I want my identity to be in Jesus Christ. I want, when you look at me, when you hear me, I want you to, I mean, I mean just automatically say, Jesus. Y'all not with me here today, but I'm going to go ahead and preach the rest of this. See, 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 I'm like Paul when he told the church at Philippi. He said, look. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God did not consider it robbery to be equal with God but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant and coming in the likeness of men and being found in the appearance as a man. He humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Therefore, somebody say therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of those in heaven and those on earth and of those under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Jesus said, all authority has been given unto me in heaven and on earth. Every knee is going to bow. Every knee is going to bow. In the name of Jesus Christ. They may not do it today. They may not do it in your lifetime. But one of these old days, every knee is going to bow on earth, under the earth, and in heaven. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. It's all about his name. There's power in his name. There's glory in his name. There's redemption in his name. There's reconciliation in his name. There's healing in his name. Steve, go, because there's so many names associated with Jesus. I like to call him my bright morning sun. I like to call him my lily of the valley. My wheel in the middle of a wheel. I call him an almighty God who is and who was and who is to come. Can I get a witness here? He's the almighty God. He's Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. He's my advocate. He's my intercessor. He says prayers for me when I ain't got sense enough to pray for myself. He's the author and the perfecter of my faith. Can I get a witness here? He has all authority. He's the bread of He's the beloved son of the living God. He's the bridegroom of God's church. He's the chief cornerstone. He's my deliverer. He's a faithful and true Lord. 
He's my good shepherd. Can I get a witness here? Lay down his life for me, his only sheep. He's my high priest. He's the head of the church. He's the holy servant. He is the great I am. They called him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Every time I think about it and all that he's done for me, I cry out, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He's an indescribable gift. He is my only judge. He is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. He is the Lamb of God, slain before the foundations of the world. He is the light of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah. He's the Lord of all and the Lord in all. He is my mediator and my Messiah, my mighty one, one who sets me free. He is my hope, my hope for today and my hope for tomorrow. He is my peace in the time of storm. He is my prophet and my redeemer. He's my risen Lord. He's my rock. He's my rock. He's my rock that I may never sink. I make sure that my anchor grips and holds that solid rock. He's a sacrifice for our sins. He is our savior. He's the son of man. He's the son of the most high. The supreme creator overall. Because whether nothing made that was made, everything that was made was made by him, was made for him, and without him was a nothing made. He's a supreme creator, the resurrection and the life. He is the door. He is the way. The truth and the life. Uh, no man can come to the Father except by him. Uh, he is the word, the true vine. Uh, he is the truth. Uh, he's the victorious one. Uh, he's a wonderful counselor, a mighty God, uh, everlasting Father, uh, Prince of Peace. Uh, his name is Jesus. Uh, he is my Savior. He is my Jesus. Water when I'm thirsty. Strength when I'm tired. Bridge over troubled water. Healer in the sick room. Lawyer in the courtroom. He's my friend. He's my brother. He's my lover. Thank you, Lord. It's something about that name. Something about that name. Sweetest name I know. No other name, no other name can do me like Jesus. Rest my arms late in the midnight hour when I can't sleep. Tears keep dropping. He loves me, rocks me, rocks me. He holds me, he tells me I am his own. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's something about that name. Something about that name. Thank you, Lord. No other name. No other name. There's power in his name. There's power in his name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Three and one and one and three. There's no separating. They are God. God all by themselves. The doors of the church are open. Would you stand with us? Thank you, Lord, for that precious, precious name. The name of Jesus. Thank you for that name. 